Eosinophilic esophagitis is a chronic progressive type 2 inflammatory disease that substantially affects patients' quality of life. Many patients do not respond to current first-line treatments or have adverse events. Treatments that address the underlying inflammatory processes are needed. Dupilumab, a monoclonal antibody, blocks the receptor for interleukin-4 and interleukin-13, which have key roles in eosinophilic esophagitis. A randomized phase 3 trial assessed dupilumab in patients 12 years of age or older with a documented diagnosis of eosinophilic esophagitis by endoscopic biopsy and a dysphagia symptom questionnaire score of 10 or higher. The study consisted of three parts. In Part A, 81 patients received 300 mg of subcutaneous dupilumab, or placebo, weekly for 24 weeks. In Part B, 240 patients received 300 mg of dupilumab weekly, 300 mg of dupilumab every other week, or placebo weekly, for 24 weeks. In Part C, 77 patients from Part A received 300 mg of dupilumab weekly for 28 weeks. There were two primary efficacy endpoints. In Parts A and B, the proportion of patients achieving histologic remission at 24 weeks was greater in both dupilumab groups than in the placebo group. In Part C, patients saw histologic benefit regardless of their initial treatment group in Part A. Dysphagia symptoms improved in patients receiving weekly dupilumab, but not every other week dupilumab. The rate of adverse events during the treatment period was similar across treatment groups and parts of the study. Ten patients had severe adverse events. The authors conclude that in adults and adolescents with eosinophilic esophagitis, weekly subcutaneous dupilumab was associated with improvements in both histology and symptoms. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.